Welcome to Mr. V Teaching Math. In this session, we're going to be doing lots of examples on how to do the inverse operation method for solving for variables in algebra. Here's our first example. Our goal is to get y by itself in the end. This is what we're looking for at the end of our question. If I take a look at this question, the first thing I want to try to do is simplify the question. There's three times y. I can't actually multiply, so I have to move on. I'm going to try to get y by itself. There's only one thing to get rid of. So even though I'm going to try to do Sam Deb and go in reverse, really there's only one thing to get rid of so I don't have to do anything. Other than to circle the one thing I'm going to get rid of. I'm getting rid of this. And of course, if you remember from the many times I've talked with the lazy mathematician, this is multiplying. In order to get rid of this, I have to do the opposite. The opposite of multiplying will be dividing. Remember to always put the thing that you're going to do behind the existing expression. So 3 times y divided by 3. And whatever I do to one side, you must do to the other. Now, the 3 multiplication and the dividing by 3 are opposites, and they will cancel each other out. On this side, I'll do 6 divided by 3. And that will give me an answer of 2. Next example. Now we're going to check mark by doing what we call left side, right side. I'm going to make a little chart. I'm going back to my original equation here at the top. 3y and 6. On the left side, I have 3y. On the right side, I have 6. Now in this equation, I think that y is equal to 2. So I'm going to put it in. Replace y, substituting in a set of brackets. This is multiplication. 3 times 2 is 6. And this is balanced. Therefore, I probably did this work correctly. Probably. <coughs> Here's our next example. This time, I'm going to make a mistake on purpose to demonstrate how left side, right side works. I'm going to begin the question. My goal is to get y by itself. First, I'm going to try bed mass normally. If I look at this and go, what do I have to do? I have to do y plus 2. I can't because I don't know what y is. All right, I've tried to simplify the question. We're going to learn a lot more about simplification later. Now I'm moving on to number two in, the set of in, in my steps, and that's to choose something to get rid of. Again, this time it's really easy to decide what to get rid of because there's only one thing to choose, and that's the adding two. So I'm going to circle the thing I'm getting rid of. Now I'm going to get rid of the adding two by doing its opposite. So I have y plus two. Now I'm going to subtract 2. And whatever I did to one side, I have to do to the other in order to keep my equation balanced. If I do plus 2 and then minus 2, I end up with nothing. They will cancel. So I end up with y all by itself over here. And 8 minus 2 is 7. So let me continue to see if I did my work correctly. I'm going to do left side, right side. I'm going to go back to my original equation and put this on the left and this on the right. I'm going to take what I think the answer is and put it in where y is. And then I'm going to add it. 7 plus 2 equals 9. Wait a minute. My equation doesn't balance. There's something wrong. I made a mistake. Now I have to go back and redo my question to find out what's wrong. More examples. Once again, my goal is to have y all by itself at the end of the question. So, I need to first try to do bed mass normally because I might be able to simplify the question. So if I look at this expression on this side and I go bed mass, brackets, exponents, division, multiplication, I have subtraction. I try to subtract y minus positive 9. Nope, doesn't work. Time to go and do algebra. 
I'm going to get rid of one thing at a time. There's only one thing to get rid of, so even though I'm supposed to be doing bed mass backwards at this point, the only thing I'm going to do is circle the one thing there is. And some of the later questions that we'll be doing later on, there will be much more complicated questions than this one. So I'm getting rid of this so that y will be by itself. The opposite of subtracting positive 9 is adding positive 9. So here I am adding positive 9. And what, since this is the thing that I did that wasn't there before, I must do the same thing on this side, because whatever I do to one side, I must do to the other. Again, subtracting positive 9 and adding positive 9 are opposites. They will cancel each other out, because if you ever do that, you just end up with 0. Now, if I look at this and go minus 9 plus positive, sorry, negative 4 plus positive 9, if you're not very good at your integers, you can use your calculator to get this, although we really need to learn our integers well later on. This will be positive 5. Once again, I need to go on and check my work by doing left side, right side. Taking my original equation from the, from the beginning, y minus positive 9, and here's the right side, the negative 4. Now I take what I think positive 5 is, I mean what I think y is, and I put it in where y will be. Positive 5. And if I take 5 and I subtract 9 from it, I will indeed end up with negative 4. Now let me point out a common error that students often make in left side, right side. They will often not actually do the math. They'll just write this down thinking, of course, I must have done it right. I want to encourage all of you to make sure that you actually do the math. Take out your calculator, do the question again, because if you, all you do is just copy down what you think the answer will be, left side, right side won't work. Another example. This one is a little bit different. If you remember, in our method, if you look at step one, it talks about attempting to simplify the equation. In this one, you will be able to. Let me show you how. The first thing I'm going to try to do is simplify the equation. I'm going to do bed mass normally. Can I do 70 plus 12? There's no variables, so I can. I'm going to do 70 plus 12. That gives me 82. Now on this side, I'm going to try to do bed mass. There's only one thing to do, so I'm going to do 49 plus y. Can I actually do that? No, because I don't know what y is. So this side I can't change. This is called simplifying a question. This is simpler than that. It isn't an answer, it's just simpler. And it's easier due to the problems this way. We're going to learn a lot more about this simplifying later on, but this is the first thing you'll be able to do. Now I'm going to continue on. You'll notice that this is written backwards from the questions we've written before. This is exactly the same as this. Those are the same thing. I can turn them around and it will still work. But I'm going to do it this way just so you get some experience in writing a question that looks like it's backwards. So I've got 82. Oh, wait, can't do that yet. Got to get y by itself. I have to get rid of things. What am I going to get rid of? Well, I'm going to get rid of things <laughs> according to Sam Deb, bad mass backwards. There's only one thing to get rid of, though, so I know that I'm getting rid of adding 49. So to get rid of adding 49, I will subtract 49. And since 49 is the new thing that I've done over here, I will take 49 away from over here. The adding 49 and the minus 49, well, if you have 49 and you take 49 away, you've got nothing. Leaving you with just the y. And the 82 minus 49 gives me, I think, 23. Once again, I'm going to go back and check my work to make sure I actually did that correctly. Because I was having trouble doing subtraction, so I might actually have done it wrong. Original equation, way back here. On the left side, I have 70 plus 12. On the right side, I have 49 plus y. 
You'll notice now I have two sides on which I can do things. I think that y is 23. Now here's where a common error will happen. Somebody will just go, oh, I know that's 82. I'll just put 82 down. What if they actually made an adding mistake here? What if they had done this wrong? So it's Im always important to do this again. So I'm actually in my head rethinking what will this be. And yes, I know it will indeed come out to 82. But I'm redoing the work. Same with here. 49 plus 23. Uh, 2. I have a problem. I added wrong. Another example. Here we have division. Once again, I'm going to try to simplify the question first. On this side of the equation, once again, I'm going to try to simplify the equation. First of all, I'm starting on this side. I'm going to do try bed mass normally. I've got y divided by 3. I don't know what y is. I can't divide it. All right, let's check the other side. Bed mass normally. I can do 108 divided by 36. Well, I can do that. So let's do it. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm not very good at doing that in my head. So that's what I use this tool for. I could if I needed to. The answer is 3. Once again, my goal is to get y by itself. I'm going to get rid of this. I would make the choice using bed mass backwards, but there's only one thing to get rid of. To get rid of dividing by 3, I will do the opposite. I will times by 3. Whatever you do to one side, you must do to the other. I times this side by 3, I have to times that side by 3. If I divide something by 3 and then times it by 3, I'm just going to end up with the original number. These will cancel each other out. 3 times 3 equals 9. Left side, right side. I think that y is 9, so I will put 9 in its place. 9 divided by 3 is 3. I'm going to take a moment to double check to see if 108 divided by 36 will work. That will be three.